Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Business, and I'm covering the expansive Forza Horizon 4 demo. And I'm playing this on the PC, 1080p, the maximum settings available to the PC demo, so I'm kind of curious as to whether or not they're going to increase. Uh, there was some mention about some higher settings in the release, and I'm looking forward to seeing what those will be. My 980 Ti is right on the cusp of not being able to <laughs> provide a fluid frame rate, but um, it, it does really well for, for this, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing how much further it can go with that uh, as far as the settings are concerned. But anyways, uh, I love racing, and I, I really enjoy this series. Um, I have a background with uh, SCCA, see. with autocross, a uh, ton of drag racing as well, and uh, it's just one of those things. I really enjoy it, and this is a fun-ass series to play, and I highly recommend anybody who likes an arcade racer that can be a simulator or have more simulator elements if you wish. There's a ton of options available for you on that. Um, yeah, it, this is a really flexible game and uh, series that I, I think should appeal to a lot of people. So anyways, um, I'll be shutting up for a few minutes and hope you enjoy the eye candy and I'm just gonna have a couple cuts at the start here because I totally forgot about the settings that I needed to change because they don't get saved. Anyways, enjoy everybody. Welcome to autumn, a new beginning for the festival that never ends. Don't go anywhere, Horizon is here to stay. So I just needed to switch over to a manual transmission, not using a clutch, of course. So there's just the upshift, downshift keys for Q and E. Um, and with that in mind, I don't think I would ever bother with getting a steering wheel or like, you know, the pedals and everything. That's just too much damn work. So no, no clutch for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, the lighting here is fucking amazing, honestly. And, you know, basically they have this whole game taking place in the UK. And as far as I'm aware, the entire map is going to be affected by the four different seasons and I, I can't even begin to tell you how much work that is in regards to you know I mean just the art department alone but everything has to be tested everything has to be looked at every nook and cranny has to be driven through to make sure that everything's going to work out fine with the change of the season so if that's the case where the entire map is four different seasons I gotta just give them huge props for that because that's a ton of work but uh, yeah, more sweet lighting coming up here as we get into uh, this festival area. Thank <laughs> you. 
And I, I really hope that nobody gets motion sick easily because when it comes to the rally stuff, there's a lot of swaying back and forth, and I love being in the onboard cameras for that, so it's really fun. But this is gorgeous. I mean, the vibrancy here is just amazing as far as the color saturation is concerned. Possibly a little too vibrant and a little too saturated, but it's colorful, and I'm okay with that. Almost every game is too brown or you know, too gray or too blue, and uh, at least this one has a lot of color in it. So, again, nice job. Coming up on the quarry. So from what I've read, they're going to be trying to put in some more of a story mode in, in this, and I'm kind of curious to see how that comes out, because the game doesn't really need it, but they also need to kind of, you know, separate it from the previous entries. And I do select this particular char character because his eyes, you can see in a couple close-ups, they stare into your soul. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Kira, director of the festival. It looks like you've made a good impression with our talent scouts. This one might have a real chance of taking a spot on the roster. Rebecca's one of our former champions. She's giving me a hand running the Horizon Road Racing Series. Excited? I remember my first day at Horizon. It's all pretty surreal, huh? I'll leave you two to get set up for the first race. Good luck. Right then, let's get you behind the wheel. Which one will it be? So I do have a complaint about the sound design for the most part, like 90% of this is fantastic, but the audio on, I, I feel like the sample on the TTS and the Focus RS is too short, so it sounds like it's almost repeating. It's super droney, 
and uh, really just kind of shitty. I like I know for a fact that All this right, car doesn't sound anywhere near as bad this ga as this game Go would pr portray, and um, it probably along the same lines as the uh, the Focus RS as well. I, I don't think it's as, it sounds as bad as the TTS does, but uh, just one of those things. And also, you can't turn off the music entirely. So you go through an area with the Horizon Festival, it'll have music always playing, and it's uh, more of a an environment music, like uh, an ambient music almost. But when you finish a race, there's always music that plays, and that's kind of annoying to me. Ah, don't look at him, don't look at him. Nope, don't, 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 okay. I warned you guys. We got through it though. I expect you'll want to get a feel for your new car. So I've signed you up to some events to get you started. See you there. Now the game does seem a bit more forgiving than, say, Horizon 3 in uh, player contact with other cars as far as keeping the skill chain active, so um, I guess that's mostly a good thing and a little bit of a bad thing like that right there absolutely would have lost me my points on my skill chain in Horizon 3, so hopefully that's uh, the way it stays because um, just the slightest touch, well not really the slightest, but you know, a, a decent impact. Um, you know, it's, it was really frustrating having um, a really nice uh, skill chain going, and then you just barely bump somebody and it's lost. Here's the damn music, always playing, always wanting to be there, which is super annoying, but eh, hopefully you can adjust that in the release. I, I doubt it, but we'll see. For your first race at the festival, that was some nice driving out there. Keep performing like that and you'll be invited to the next round of the series. His vision's so intense he can see my DNA. Sorry, Carter, so, of course there's going to be a lot of options for you as far as, you know, different types of races and whatnot. The full game, as far as I'm aware, has drag racing as well, and I hope it's actually two options. The quarter mile and the standing mile. That would be great. But I, I highly doubt the standing mile is going to be in it. But uh, there's going to be, obviously, stunt-oriented stuff like this uh, with the Bugatti, and you're going to see me be just way too damn careful with this. Get left, but keep your foot down. You pursuit vehicle. Yeah, the baddies in a jet plane. So what? 
You just keep that needle in the red. Maybe do some evasive maneuvers. And the baddies overshot you, and your hero is safe. For now. Good. This is all good stuff. Don't relax, kid. We're not done. Keep it loose and fast up the hill, then back down. Still got the jump to do. The road's blocked off ahead, so you're gonna cut across the field. They'll add something in post. Crashed alien ship or something. It's all marked out for camera coverage, okay? You just line it up, floor it, and pray. Hey, eyes forward! Ignore the camera. Try to look heroic. And that is a wrap, everyone. Congratulations, kid. You survived. Reckon you can do that again? I'll give you a number to casting. Call you if there's another job. Now, of course, everybody's going to have their own opinion when it comes to rally racing and how uh, a game should feel, uh, whether it should play like Colin McRae or Dirt or Hell all the way back in the PlayStation 1 Rallycross, which uh, that's a big throwback. If, if you know that game, props to you. But um, <laughs> I think for this being an arcade game, they did a great job with the feel of this, and much more so than I would have expected them to be able to do. And I, I really, really can't wait to sink my teeth into the full game's rally mode. And just remember, make sure your wheels are pointing where you want to go when you land. Whoops. So there are speed traps and speed zones and drift zones and all this stuff in the game. Uh, the beauty spots as well, which uh, add some historic element to the game as well, which is really cool. I like that with uh, Forza Horizon 3, um, you know, learning a little bit more about Australia and looking some of this stuff up. And, um, you know, what you're about to see as far as the beauty spot is concerned is, uh, I think it's in Oxfordshire, and this is a real thing. Ah, the Offington White Horse. This thing's incredible. The first prehistoric display of horsepower. One. One of the biggest things this game needed, though, in regards to the drip zones or the speed zones is when you're in those areas now, all the cars that aren't you are now ghost cars. And that is a huge quality of life improvement that I cannot stress how much <laughs> I, I enjoy the fact that they made that change. So one of the biggest mistakes people make when it comes to YouTuber streaming is just playing one game and I, I can't do that anymore. I don't want to get burnt out on World Warships, especially being a community contributor. I want to be able to you know, consistently provide content for you guys on YouTube and 
obviously, on stream as well, and this is definitely a game that will help break up that monotony, and maybe Battlefield 5 will be as well. But uh, looking for potentially uh, doing some build requests and whatnot, we'll figure all that out at the uh, game's release soon. But uh, thank you for watching today, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Take care.